Hey guys, it's me, the Afro Hammerai. I'm back with another season to taste. You all thought I was out of reverbs. I'm not out of reverbs. So I spent two videos talking about Little Plate by Sound Toys, but that's not the only plate reverb I have. This is Rev Plate 140 by Arturia, and this is meant to be an emulation of, get this, the EMT 140. Um, now, that's the same as Little Plate. Um, so we're going to see what this sounds like, and then I'm going to talk you through some of the differences, and yeah, let's do it. This is another one of the reverbs that I don't really use that often because I've got to be real, I forgot I had it. So let's have a look at like what we have here, as well as like the blend of dry and wet and also how wide it is, which is something new. Um, you can choose between three different models. Model two is meant to be a classic EMT for what they've written. Um, three, they've put down as wonderful. I haven't tried that yet. And one, they've put down as punchy, I think that says. I can't see. And when you can enable the advanced mode, which is done by a little click in this little arrow thing up here to, to make it go down, um, then you can also change the pre-delay in seconds. You can add a high pass filter. You can add some either pre or post reverb modulation. And you also have a post equalizer built into plate 140. So as standard with season to taste, I'm going to solo out the keys and we're going to mess with the reverb. I'm going to see what it sounds like. Let's go. Guys, I'm not actually even joking. I haven't heard this do that before, and I am so excited by that. Like, I'm not actually joking. I'm leaving this in the video. I changed it to three, and my mouth was actually open, and I'm annoyed that I didn't record video of myself. Oh, god damn. Okay, guys, I'm gonna calm down. That was a moment of genuine excitement from how good this reverb actually just sounded. I'm not even joking. Um, so three is wonderful. I wonder what one sounds like. Yeah, guys, I really like this reverb, I gotta be honest with you. Um, and I'm upset with myself that I don't use it a lot more. Now it's time for the comparison. I couldn't fit them side by side, so Rev Plate is at the top, Little Plate is at the bottom. Let's talk about them. Um, so Little Plate has modulation that you can turn on and off, but it doesn't have the like level of control that this does where you can put it as either pre-modulation or post-modulation. Granted, this modulation always sounds good. Um, it's not saying that this sounds bad, but like, it's not necessarily that you'd ever really feel like you want to mess with it. At least in my opinion, Little Plate's modulation is, is good enough, in my opinion. You still have a dry wet mix and a low cut, as you would expect, you have the low cut here. And, and to be honest, with like Rev Plate, it's weird that it's not just available right here, right near the model. It's weird that to kind of get to the high pass, like this is the normal view you get, that you have to go in and manually like show the expanded view before you can have the high pass filter available. Um, but you do have a post EQ in here, whereas with Little Plate, you'd have to use an EQ8 or something afterwards. One annoying thing about Rev Plate is that like the decay time you can only really change in steps. Like so you can switch it between like minimum, which is like I think like most probably like one second or whatever it is, all the way up to like maximum. Um, you can automate it, but it will also automate in steps. Whereas with Little Plate, because this is a like fluid thing, you can like automate it anywhere between like 0.5 seconds all the way up to infinity. 
um, which is something this also doesn't have. The little plate plugin you can set to infinity, you could have it on a bus, or you could record audio out of little plate, and you could use this for like resynthesis. Now let's talk about the prices. As I've mentioned twice, little plate comes at $99, rev plate 140 comes at $99. So I have to be honest with you, with all of the previous videos that I've done with Little Plate, where I've been like, oh, you know what, I'm a bit on the fence about recommending it. Genuinely, if you like Little Plate sound, but you're just worried about spending $99 on just Little Plate because you feel that it might be limiting after trying it out, give Rev Plate 140 a go, for real. I'm not even joking. I genuinely had my mouth open in excitement from how it sounded on that third model. This has been another season to taste. I hope you've enjoyed them. I definitely need to stop getting reverbs and then not using them, but I've still got a few more that I'm likely going to be able to talk to you about. Um, but yeah, cool.